boys and girls, we're gonna go ahead and begin with our calendar. Let's look at our months of the year. We have January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. What month are we in? May. We're gonna go ahead and put May over here. Can you tell me what year we're in? 2020. Okay, today's date is the 19th, so May 19, 2020. We're going to cross out the days that have already passed. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. May 19, 2020. Today is Tuesday. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. If today is Tuesday, tomorrow will be Wednesday. Today is Tuesday. Yesterday was Monday. Okay, we're going to move on to fluency. Okay, we're going to repeat them. The first time we're going to say them, and then the second time we're going to, I'm going to go ahead and put a timer on to see how long it takes us to read the words. Are you ready? Over, new, sound, take, only, little, work, no, place, years, live, me, back, give, most, very, after, Things, hour, just, name, good, sentence, man, think. Okay, so we're going to say them one more time. This time I'm going to put, I'm going to go ahead and put a timer for one minute to see how many words we can read in one minute. Okay. Are you ready? Go. Over, new, sound, take, only, little, work, no, place, years, live, me, back, give, most, very, after, things, hour, just, name, good, sentence, man, think. Over, new, sound, take, only, little, work, no, place, years, live, me, Back, give, most, very, after, things, hour, just, name, good, sentence, man, think. Over, new, sound, take, only, little, work, no, place, years, live, me, back, give, most, very, after, things, hour, just, name, good, sentence, man, think. Okay, so we, we actually said the words three times. So let's see how many words there are. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So it's five rows by five columns. That means it's 25 words. We read 25 words three times. So if I had three quarters, that would equal 75 cents. So that means we read 75 words in one minute. Great job, boys and girls. When you practice at home, see if you can uh, do it the first time. See how fast, or not how fast, but see how many words you can read. And then try it again to see if you can read more words the second time. Okay, we're going to move on to our packet work. Today is going to be, we have very little work today, so let's see. Okay, for reading, illustrate Jack. Directions, color this picture of Jack. Complete the sentence by tracing the word. Okay. Illustrate. What does that mean? We know that in a book, the author writes the story. What does the illustrator do? They draw and color the pictures. Yes. And so you're going to be an illustrator by coloring this picture of Jack. So let's see. 
I'm gonna color his hat yellow and you can color it however you want remember you're going to be the illustrator so go ahead and color it if you make a mistake that's okay okay I'm gonna make them very colorful because I'm gonna use more than one more than two colors Okay, so there I colored Jack. I'm gonna color the candle now. Fire would be like orange. And then the holder for the candle. And if you wanna color the background, you can do that as well. I'm just gonna go ahead and color that. Okay, so next, Jack is Nimble, so we need to go ahead and trace nimble. Nimble starts with the N. I is the letter I. M is the letter M. B is B. And then the O will be the L E. L E. Okay. And nimble just means that you're doing something quickly and very carefully. So Jack is nimble. He's being very fast and, and very carefully to jump over the candlestick. Okay, we're going to move on to the next page. Read in response, trace the letters, then write your own letters. So today we're working on the letter N. Can you tell me what sound the letter N makes? N. Yes. Can you think of words that begin with the letter N? Nickel. Nap. Napkin, all of those begin with the letter N. Okay, so let's go ahead. Let's trace the N. You start at the top, you go down, and then you do the diagonal, and then you can go up. Okay, let's do it one more time. Great job. Go ahead and do it three times by yourself. Remember, it needs to touch the top line and the bottom. This is the capital N. So if you're writing a name, for example, Nikki, you would need to have a capital N. Natasha. Nicholas. Okay. Next, we're going to move on to the lowercase n. So lowercase n, you draw your line first, and then you're going to curve it and go down. Okay, go ahead and draw three more by yourself. This is a lowercase n. It does not touch the top. It only touches the middle line and the bottom line. Okay. Next, it says, draw how Jack can be more careful. Then write about it. So how can he be more careful? He can be careful if he has the candle maybe on the floor, somewhere where if it falls over, it won't catch anything on fire. Um, he can also be careful by not um, putting it somewhere low so that he has a better chance of jumping over it. So let's see. He can also be careful by not jumping over it. <laughs> so you can draw whichever picture you want to draw, however you think that Jack can be more careful. So I'm going to go ahead and put... Here's the candle holder. I draw a pink candle. And then I'm going to draw Jack. I'm going to So he's jumping over it. <laughs> So I'm going to put here in my story that how can Jack be more careful? Jack can place the candle on the 
floor where nothing can catch on fire. And remember, you can make up your own sentence. If you want to copy mine, you can do that as well. Okay, so Jack can place a candle on the floor where nothing can catch on fire in case he knocks it over. Um, Jack, another thing for him to be more careful, maybe he had like a fireproof outfit, something that would not catch on fire so he could wear that so he wouldn't get burned. Um, he could not jump over the candle. That would be another idea. So you're going to write your own idea. Okay, so we're going to move on to the next page. Quick check. Number one. Which sound starts with the word not? Which word sounds, which sound starts the word not? Say the word not, not. What sound do you hear in the beginning? N. So let's see which of these letters makes that N sound. A, N, B, H, C, It'll be letter A. Mm. Okay, number two. What does nimble mean? A, little. B, sit. C, quick. What does nimble mean? Nimble means quick. So let's go ahead and let's color uh, bubble in quick. Number three. What does an illustrator do? Does he sing, draw, or write? He draws. Who's the one that writes? Can you tell me? The author. Okay, number four. What does the picture tell you? So if we go back to the picture, what does it show us? Does it tell us that Jack jumped low, Jack burned his toe, or Jack is wearing a hat? Looking at the picture, what can you tell me? Did he jump low? No. Did he burn his toe? Can you see that he burned his toe? No. Is he wearing a hat? Yes, we can see that he's wearing a hat. So our answer is Jack is wearing a hat. Great job. Okay, next we're going to move on to math. For math, we only have one worksheet and we are still working on the plus sign. So here we have four cars and three more. What sign do I need to put to show that I'm joining them? The plus sign. So let's go ahead and let's draw our plus sign. Can you tell me what is four plus three? Four, five, six, seven. Yes, it equals seven. Okay, number two. We have two bus, two buses, and four more. So we're going to go ahead. Our first group is two, so we're going to write the number two. And our second group, we have four buses, so we're going to write the number four. What sign do I need to put to show that I'm joining? A plus sign. So we're going to go ahead and draw a plus sign. Can you tell me what is two plus four? Four, five, six. Okay, number three. Our first group has one, two, three, four, five buses. I said number two were buses. They might be trucks, but that's okay. Number three, our first group has five buses and our second group has one, two. If I'm joining them, what sign do I need to put here? A plus sign. So go ahead and draw your plus sign. Can you tell me what is 5 plus 2? 5, 6, 7. 5 plus 2 equals 7 and 4 plus 3 equals 7. Okay, next we're going to move on to social studies. We don't have any more thing. Uh, we don't have anything else for science. We already finished. The packet for science so we're going to go ahead and just move on to social studies number one many monuments are built to honor a people b plants 
Many monuments are built to honor people. Okay, number two. What might you see on Veterans Day? A. Maps. B. Parades. What might you see on Veterans Day? Parades. Veterans Day is when they celebrate all those that are veterans. So let's go ahead. And usually when they celebrate Veterans Day, you'll see parades. You'll see a lot of flags. Uh, you'll see soldiers. Okay, number three. George Washington lived in the White House. Yes or no? No, he did not. It was not built yet. Okay. And George Washington was our first president. Number four. There are four presidents on Mount Rushmore. Yes or no? Yes. Number five. We celebrate Veterans Day to A. Thank the brave people who have fought to keep us safe and free. B. Remember George Washington. Why do we celebrate Veterans Day? To thank the brave people who have fought to keep us safe and free. Yes, so we're going to go ahead and bubble in A. And we have one more question. Write the best answer on the line. We're going to go ahead and just circle the answer. A veteran is a person who has served in the military or White House. A veteran is a person who has served in the military. Great job. Okay, guys, so that's all for today. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Bye.